Welcome into to another edition of NBA Front Page. I'm Joel Hillsman. Wedding bells rung at high altitudes this week. Yes, Daniel Gibson of the Cleveland Cavs and singer Keisha Cole made it official. They are married, and while on a chopper ride, Keisha tweeted, It's official, done, and truly blessed. Mr. and Mrs. Gibson, we appreciate all the well wishes. We're happy to see they found true love in each other. Remember Skip Tamalu, a.k.a. Ray for Austin? Well, he's the new basketball coach and athletic director at Christian Life Center Academy in Houston, Texas. Austin will be introduced to the student body at this week's graduation ceremonies. Current Clipper DeAndre Jordan is an alum of the Academy. NBA roots at Christian Life. Now let's see who's been spotted. Is that Steve Nash? Yep, the hockey fan Steve Nash. All into the ice action of the NHL Vancouver Canucks playoff hockey game. He shoots. He scores. Fab Five alum number five Jalen Rose auctioned off his 1969 Dukes of Hazard Dodge Charger. I saw one in Circle City one time. Don't let me whip it on an eye anything. Good work being done for the future youth of the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy. Oprah looks as though she's about to faint as Michael Jordan showed up and surprised her for her farewell event last week. Then she got crunk. After all, it is Michael's house. There's more in our spotted gallery on NBAfrontpage.com. Now some history with Mark Denman. On May 27, 1981, Julius Dr. J. Irving was named the NBA's most valuable player. As a member of the Philadelphia 76ers, Irving became the only player in history to win the MVP award in both the NBA and the ABA. Before the NBA and ABA merged in 1976, the doctor was a three-time ABA MVP. Mark Denman, NBA Front Page. Tweeting this week was Tony Allen of the Grizzlies after a minor fender bender. Thank God I'm okay, but I feel bad this elderly lady is panicking. She think I'm a crook with no insurance. She will not exchange info. Ha, I wonder if she figured it out, Tony. Should have signed an autograph. Let's check out the fun we're having in the fan zone. In the fan zone, the conference finals continue to bring out the best in the fans. Check these Holy Bulls fans. Holy. That's a lot of paint for that torso. Hey, look, this Bulls fan getting creative in art class this week, huh? Oh, it doesn't stop there. These OKC fans are all in with the costumes. Really, yes, 2011, and the OKC arena is rocking in more than one way. Does this fan mean the Thunder are set to strike? Mavs fans countered back as well, with all their color proclaiming to make it rain. And Dirk did. While this fan is auditioning for the part of the talking basketball, look at the artwork in fine detail. Well, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar wants a statue. He deserves it, so give it to him in the skyhook form. That makes us ask you, what NBA great do you think deserves a statue sooner than later? Bird, Sir Charles, Neek, Reggie, Dr. J, who? That's the poll this week, so log on and cast your vote at NBAfrontpage.com. We'll wrap it with this video of an out-of-character Blake Griffin trying to get into a video game, something called Rage. Keep dunking, Blake. For NBA Front Page, I'm Joel Hillsman. Color inside the lines, and we'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks, Tim. Rage. You ever wanted something so bad you can almost taste it? <laughs>